Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're actually going to be playing Valheim. Now, you guys might not know this about me, but I love survival crafting games from like Minecraft to Terraria, Ark Survival Evolved, uh, The Long Dark, Satisfactory, pretty much anything with crafting and or survival I love. So Valheim is no different. If anything, it, it's easily hit my top five best survival crafting games of all time it's like literally one of my favorites so let's start the game as you guys can see i already have a character this is my own character that i made and this was my character that i made to decide whether or not i wanted to make content for this game or just like have it in the side for like just me and i decided to make content on it because the game's really fun it's really fucking good so we're gonna make a new character because we're not gonna start off with brinjar because brinjar's like his stats are looking pretty stupid now so nope that's not what i knew that's what i wanted to do so we're gonna make a female just because i already have a male we're gonna give you we're gonna give you this type of hair plus this one plus no wait wait this is this one and this one there we go and we're gonna call her izzy just because that's the girl name that i usually go towards start then we're gonna make a new world because Yggdrasil already has its own thing. So we're gonna call it Sanctuary. That's like my go-to name for worlds, usually. So start. So like I said, this game is like easily one of my favorite games right now just because it is that good. Um, I do plan to... So for this episode, we're most likely gonna try to build a home and go for the first boss. The first boss I don't have to do in the first episode. I would like to, but the first thing I want to do is find shelter or make shelter. Because if you guys don't know, make like at night, enemies come out more and they will fuck you up. If I'm being quite honest, this is my second take at it because I took too long at, at finding a shelter and I just died too many times. And I was like, fuck this, I'm doing this all over. So, yeah. Alright, so let's start off with talking to Hugin. Hugin's like basically the main tutorial of this game. He t teaches you pretty much everything. Oh, so that's where you were coming from. That makes total sense. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is get as many resources as I can. Not only that, but I want to stay fairly close to this because I will be coming back to this because I have to kill all the bosses. These are all bosses. They're all representative bosses. So, I have to kill, what, five? Two, yeah, five. So, let's go... Ooh, food. The other thing I'm going to have to prioritize is food. Food is going to be, like, a thing that I'm going to be needing to do a lot of. Mostly because food is directly connected to your stamina and your health. Which is pretty cool. Because it actually is connected in a very real way. As you guys can see, my... Hunger is usually at the gray, and then the red is the extra health that I just got from eating those berries. So the better the food source, the better the the health is. So as you guys can see right here, it says it gives me 15 health and 20 stamina. Eat that, 
I just got more health and I got more stamina. I think this is smart and it's cool as fuck. I really do like it a lot. Uh, it may not be that crazy for a lot of people, but to me it's like very smart and I love it a lot. It's really cool. So let's actually start hitting some trees, not trees, uh, branches, because we need wood because I need to make an ax real quick. Okay, so like I said, the first thing I'm gonna prioritize is food, shelter, and that's pretty much it actually. Obviously we're gonna have to stay away from some of the enemies, but again, I that that's where the shelter comes. Oh shit, here's the thing. Huh. Did not even notice it. I wasn't even trying to look for it. So this is where the first boss is gonna be. We're gonna read this. No no, it's not that. Where's the thing? Yeah, fuck it. Okay, so I may be in a in a small pickle because I have not yet found or made a, a shelter. I mean, I can legitimately just take this and make it my own. <gasps> what? Is there a bee hive? Oh shit, was that right in front of me? Oh, that's fucked up, dog. Um, so... It's funny that I've just found a beehive considering I've found a few of them. So I've found, let me see, I found three so far, which is really weird because uh, even in my uh, my other playthrough, I've, I've never found that many. So I'm legitimately kind of happy because uh, I'm going to have honey now. And honey's really good to have. But again, this doesn't mean anything if I die. So if I die now, that would pretty much suck. Because currently, for starting off, I have a good amount of resources uh, for honey, which is pretty wild. And uh, I would very much not like to die. So again, we're actually, I'm basically scouting the area. So that way I can find like where would be the best place to make a base pretty much. I'm not too scared of dying mostly because I have a torch and the enemies that we saw don't like to go near you if you have a torch. So what I might do is actually, let me see. Okay. What I might do is actually have like once it actually becomes di like dark night, nighttime then I'll probably just start building some like a little hut and then just build what I need to build. Definitely going to build a fire to like not die. Actually, no, I don't want to fight because I can't. Well, actually, I, th I think you I can carry. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, I can carry. So I feel cold now. <clears throat> and. Damn, this island is... Well, it's not an island, but this, this is pretty big. It's bigger than my old one. Actually, maybe. Maybe maybe it's bigger than my old one. Because so far, there's another area over here. We still haven't found the, the black... What's it called? The black forest or something? Yeah, the black forest, I think it's called. And there's still more to go. Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back like over here. I decided to make my base over here somewhere because a this this game has tele like portals, so you can teleport to other areas, which means you really don't need to like find like the best part. But I'll I will say you still would like to go near like some ocean, so that way you can like go through. By boat. Oh shit, I found a town. I may... We'll see, we'll see. I don't hate this. The last time I was in a town like this, Draugr Draugr came out. I forget how to pronounce that. Um, Draugr came out and almost killed me, so I'm a little weary to come out here. It's a bed. Oh, I thought it was a bed. Well... A functioning bed. But again. Ooh. 
Some more stuffs. Can I carry this? I can't. Okay, it's fine. Alright, I definitely need to find a place because I am starting to get a little too full of stuffs. Can't carry that. I'm, can I carry this? Oh, that puts me at 300. Okay, that's good. Having another torch is going to give me another layer of, of safety because, again, uh, the enemies do not like to go... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. The enemies do not like to go near you if you have any fire. So, the best... For when, when we start to actually build our shelter, <clears throat> I'm definitely going to use a, a campfire because that's going to be the best source because the enemies don't like to go near you if you have a campfire. The only negative about the campfire is if it starts to rain, then the campfire will go out. So hopefully it doesn't start raining, but my type of luck is that where the first day it just starts raining. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Also... I'm not putting on the torch just yet until I find an enemy or if I just start building a place. Like I said, uh, this game's pretty much not the hardest when it comes to combat, especially since this game gives you a pretty generous amount of st stamina. Look, look, my stamina's pretty high. So walking is generally like the best because enemies won't catch up to you. Like once they start doing that, the attack animation, You'll already be out of the way. Oh, shit. There's ice over here, huh? Okay, that's actually very good to know. Because I'm probably going to need to come up here eventually. So, we're almost there. Actually, my this is where we're going to build the house. Hopefully, the terrain's pretty good. Even if it's not, we can still make it workable when we get the ho the hoe. I was about to say hose. Nope. Okay. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I can make a hoe, but we'll see. It's not. I don't think it's hard. I just don't know if I'm like, like legitimately cannot make it, or if it's just like the material is hard to find. We'll see. We are currently It's pretty good that these assholes are actually here because I do want them to be around me because they drop their tails which is pretty good early game Okay so their tails are pretty good. They give you a pretty good amount of stamina and whatnot. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna build a house. I'm okay with it, like, the area's fine. Okay, so, let's build this right there. And then talk to this asshole. Bro, can I? Oh, that's right. It needs to be in like I don't know, in a roof. So we'll build something like simple right now because I need to see what that can do. Which means we're gonna we're gonna do this. So we're gonna make a little hut. And when I say little, I'm like I mean little. This shit's gonna be small. I don't need to make anything grandiose right now. Just something that is serviceable. So we're going to do... Thinking... I'm not thinking anything too crazy, like I said. It doesn't have to be crazy. Just needs to be, like, livable. And again, this is gonna be my like my first home, so I really don't care about it looking nasty or whatever. Um, build you over here a little more. I should be fine. All right, so let's build the walls. And then the door. And I'm out of wood. That's fine. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some more wood. 
Okay, so the house is built. I put the behind. Actually, I could build more if I want. Yeah, I forgot. I'm gonna build one more. I am out of wood again, but that's fine. Well, you'll actually come with me this time. Let's actually fix our gear. I'm really happy that they fixed it. They like the repairs in this game is free. Thank God. So here's the goal for for this series. The series goal is gonna be pretty much simple as fuck it's just gonna be me being the game and surviving and thriving so essentially i'm gonna want to kill all the bosses after i kill all the bosses i'm gonna try to like live as comfortably as i possibly can in this world and once i get to that point we'll probably call it a, a day or a season because i can see myself playing this game for literal years because that's just survival crafting games are those type of games where you can just play on and off and just keep playing it and this game is definitely going to be a game i'm going to be coming back to a lot and there's just a lot of things about this game that i really like uh the fact that like when you're sleeping if you're making anything it does progress with your sleeping so like for me that's such a big deal because a lot of survival games don't get that right they'll leave that as a mechanic for like not annoy you but like to detain you from actually doing what you want to do some most of the time so let's say i'm smelting some ore in this game the ore like depending on how how long i slept the ore will be either done or whatever the coal will be done it, it doesn't matter i'm all all that really matters is that it, ch it literally goes with the time, which is something I very much appreciate because most games don't get that, like, for some odd reason. So, now that we're here, we can make the rag tunic and the rag pants. I have the rag tunic already on, this one right here. I can make the pants, but I'd much rather wait to get the leather tunic and stuff because, again, this is going to be the best stuff that we're going to be able to, to do so far. For now, we're going to make the flint axe because it's just much better than the stone axe. Uh, and we are going to... Actually, I just remembered. We're going to make a fire because we need to make the food that we have. We have a fuck ton of food. So, put you right there. And then we have to put this. We're going to put two, hopefully. And then just start cooking everything. Because again, I have so much food on me, uh, just from killing stuff. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is most likely. No, no, actually, well, actually, we need we need, let's go build a house real quick before I forget, because I will forget. Build a house or the room. Can you get off my fucking bed, bro? Food's done. <clears throat> so uh, claim and then i don't need to sleep right now so with that being done no that's not what i want we were gonna just make some light and then we're gonna build this this is what i wanted Okay, this is good. So now we're gonna be actually, look at that, look at that stamina, bro. This is what I like about this game is the fact that you're like what you actually, you don't have to eat. Like you really don't, you'll never starve to death. At least not what, not that I've noticed, but it's just so beneficial to eat. And it's cool because it doesn't feel like, oh my god, I'm getting punished for not eating. It's just kind of like, I don't know, I, I just, I love it. It's such a smart idea. Not saying that, like, other games when they do, like, when they do uh, stuff like that where you'll die if you don't eat. I, I don't mind it. It's, you know, it's generally, like, that's how it should be. But there's something about this game where, or not this game in general, but the mechanic itself where... Your health is directly connected to how much food and the quality of food that you eat. Plus your stamina as well is just such a cool concept. That I was just like, I don't know why no one's ever thought of doing this. This is great. 
Alright, so tail's done. And the food is done cooking. That's great. So we're going to put some stuff in here. We're going to throw away the axes since we don't need them anymore. Okay. We're going to throw them in here. Or out into the ocean. And these will stay with us. So now we just need wood. Right now, my concern is making this little hut. Well, we're going to make it bigger. But actually, let me see. Can I make a, a, a hole? I can make it. Oh, I can make it now. All right, cool. Well, this is even better now. I'm probably going to make my, my like, not forever home, but, like, my, this is going to, yeah. I thought you were going to tell me about the hoe. Huh. All right, so here's the problem. I don't have any, like, <clears throat> I don't have any level area here. Although over here looks pretty simple or pretty cool. Oh, that's a rock, never mind. Well, let's try it. Let's see. Okay, so what I'm thinking is make a house over here, although I could probably make a house here. I just really wish that you didn't, like, you could turn this back. You can, but I just, you need to do certain things first. So let me see, can I... See, this is the part that I hate about myself. I'm very indecisive when it comes to these things. So we're just going to do this real quick. I want to make it as level as I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a pretty fucking big base or not like super huge but enough where I can have like room for stuff not only that I'm gonna have a deck as well because why would I not let's kill this asshole before he starts bugging me So, the only thing that I'm kind of, like, noticing is the fact that, like, this is not leveling. So, I think I would have to kill the boss first in order to get a pickaxe, so that way I can level this properly. Which is annoying, but whatever, let's see. I, like, I can definitely build a home here, but it just looks kind of gross right now. Where am I? Hmm. Again, I definitely want to make a house around here because it's near water. <laughs> so, we'll see what, what we do. Uh, I'm not calling it an episode just yet. I still need to make a place, and then I'll probably do that. Or actually, no, I am going to call it an episode because I already have the hut build. This is like the thing I wanted to do the most. Is there any honey? No, not yet. But a uh, fair warning, I, we're not going to stay here. I don't like how this is coming out. And I want to have a place that has like flat land. So the next episode, you'll probably see a new area with a new little hut. Because I don't like this area. But it's okay because we're get, probably going to do it like down here or up here maybe. We'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts in the comments below. I'm loving this game. It's so fucking good. I kind of want them to release it for Switch 
just because I would love to play this on the go. And yeah, that would be pretty cool. So be safe, guys. You know what's happening, girl, and I'll see you guys later.